I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! This is the card I'd like to show you today. It uses Lily Pad Lake and the Coordinating Lakeside Framelits. I'm also going to use the Watercolor Pencil Assortment 2. This is a limited time offer for the month of August 2018. However, there have been hints from Stampin' Up! that this product may be in an upcoming catalog. My inks are gray granite and I'm using some balmy blue ink refill. My card base is thick whisper white. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a layer of thick Whisper White cardstock that is five and a fourth by four. I also have a scrap of thick Whisper White and a piece of balmy blue that's two by four and a quarter. I'm starting out by bringing in my Big Shot. I am using the magnetic platform and the precision base plate. This precision base plate is not really recommended for the magnetic platform because of such a strong grip. But if you keep your fingers out of the way, it should be great. I use it all the time. I'm going to use the wavy thinlet to cut the piece of balmy blue. I'm just putting it right in the middle, covering that up with a clear plate and rolling it through. I do recommend rolling it through a couple of times. And I have found that my Big Shot, um, these didn't come right out. If you pull these strings out, up, they sometimes um, get caught and tear some of the paper. But if you pull it toward the end, kind of the long way sliding it, along the length. They come out cleanly and there's got to be some use for these little strings. This uh, die is pretty cool. The way the blades are arranged on this makes it really easy that if you wanted to just slide this up and do another row of, um, of slits all the way up your cardstock, you can do it. Next, I'm going to have a little bit of good, clean fun. I have some shaving cream. Now, my husband does not use shaving cream, but I used to use it in my classroom all the time to get the kids to clean their desks. It was a lot of fun. And I want to spread this around. You can use a plastic spoon. I'm using a bone folder right now. Even a scrap of cardstock, I suppose. And I want to just put a few drops, like maybe three drops of the balmy blue ink because I want a fairly pale background. And I'm going to spread this back and forth. I do want it back and forth as opposed to up and down and swirled. Um, you do not want a solid blue. This should be pretty good right here. And I do want paper towels handy. I'm going to lay in that cardstock, the Whisper White 5 and a fourth by 4. And I want to put the center in first and press it down. I don't want any um, big bubbles underneath. Oops, I do have a bubble. See, this part right here is pretty dry, so I'm going to stick that back in. And then I'm going to just wipe it off with paper towels. And you would think that this would smear the ink on the paper. It does not. Once it sticks down there, um, it really does wipe up cleanly. I don't know what the secret is. 
and you do get a different look every time. You get this lovely marbling look and a nice scent in your craft space. This is slightly damp, um, so just set it aside to dry. Next, we're going to get the scrap of cardstock and our gray granite, and I'm going to stamp my egret. Or perhaps that's a heron and the lily pad. If you prefer the boats, I'm going to stamp a couple of the boats just to show you what that would look like. And I think I have a space around all of them. And I'm bringing in my watercolor pencils. You get 10 pencils and they come in this box but I like to keep mine in a stamp case with a small pencil sharpener and a blender pen and it's a perfect fit. I'm going to color my lily pad in. This is garden green. We have another set of watercolor pencils and I'm excited that there's new colors. With the watercolor pencils when you actually add a just a little bit of water to it. It really smooths out so you can just enjoy the coloring. And I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo for my Maybe I'll bring in just a little bit of Cherry co Cobbler just to add a little bit of extra color to that. Now normally I would not recommend a lot of water coloring on our regular cardstock. With the blender pens there's not a lot of liquid to there so you get a nice smooth color and unless you do a great deal of scrubbing you won't have trouble with the, the regular thick whisper white cardstock filling up. Tip the uh, brush tip on the side and just kind of wiggle it off. I'm going to leave the heron or the egret white, but I thought I might color the, the boat. And I think I will um, stamp the lily pad inside the card as well. And I think this would look pretty with either the boats or the uh, and I'm going to stamp be calm and leave it to God up in the upper right corner but this card could really be used for any kind of uh, greeting that you would like to include I'm adding my panel to the card front with adhesive of your choice I'm using the multi-purpose liquid glue. I like it because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. And I have a border around the edge. This piece is going to be the full size of the front of the card, side to side. Bringing my big shot back in, and this time without the precision base plate. So I need a clear plate and I'm going to cut out my egret and the lily pad, the water lilies. And the boats and of course I'll have to run this through a second time for the other set of boats. I think you'll find that framelits pop out very easily. This is kind of nice because it stamps as three boats on one stamp and it cuts as three boats on one framelit, but you do get two separate pieces, so that's kind of nice. It gives us some flexibility. And I just need to decide if I want to use the egret 
and the water lily. which I think is beautiful. Or you could also decide on the boats. Different look. That's kind of a lot of boats. I don't know. Put the larger boats in the front. I think I'd probably put five boats on there. So either one of these would work just fine. Maybe I'll go ahead and use the boats for this one. And I'm going to just put those on dimensionals. This single boat should probably just have the mini dimensionals. Oh, what's this? It's a new tool from Stampin' Up. It has a little bit of putty that pokes out here. A little goes a long way and you can pick up and you can pick up items to put down. This is really handy for picking up little mini dimensionals. It's also helpful for sliding under things that you want to lift up like rhinestones or even um, if you've got a layer in the wrong place to get between the adhesives. I think this is the way I will have my tool arranged most of the time, but this piece does pop out. can be reversed to have a piercing tool, paper piercer, and you can also switch it out to the included double-ended embossing tips. And those lock in. And this, there are replaceable putty ends for you. This tool will be available when the holiday catalog goes live, but I think you're going to need one of these. So put it on your wish list. So if I can remember where I decided to put these boats. I think here. Here. And some boats way up here. Yeah. I like it. If you would like the directions to this card, come on over to BevAdams.com. I will have the direct link for you right here on the video and also if you're watching on YouTube it'll be in the description below. Thank you for stopping by. Talk to you soon.